Today we're making prison sushi, baby. What you need is white rice, one pack of ramen, flaming hot cheers, tuna, cheese, mayonnaise. Feel free to put what you want in. I just don't like pickles. Crush your ramen. Mm-hmm. Put your rice in the bag, add water, not too much, let it swell. Add water to your ramen just a little bit. You want to create like dough. Flatten and square out your ramen. Add some cheese. Don't think twice, just add your rice. Put some cheese and mayonnaise in the corner of the bag. Add your tuna and some mayonnaise. Crush some flaming Hot Cheaters. Add your flaming Hot Cheaters. Roll it up and create sushi. Mmm, mmm, On this bag, I've got the noodles. On this one, we've got the rice. And I actually, this took so long to cook. I put some hot water in here and I just waited. And eventually, the rice did cook. In order to create our prison sushi, we are going to need a base, which is basically some foil paper. And this is going to be our sushi mat. So I put some boiling water in some rice and some noodles and it kind of cooked, but not entirely. I don't really know. Interestingly enough, in the video, the outer layer of the sushi is noodles which i actually think is kind of working i don't really know why it's not rice on the outside but have i been to prison no i will come full of recipes though taking consideration youtube copyright rules lately i give myself seven months so this kind of looks actually very similar to what it did on the video it's very much like noodles but i guess if you press it it's kind of doughy i don't really know so next we're going to use a layer of nacho cheese i'm pretty sure they've got spoons in prison so we're going to put the nacho cheese and hopefully this is going to make the rice stick to it so oh oh no this is not very easy to spread okay this is very difficult to spread so if you try this don't spread it just sort of put it on top because this is gonna peel off the whole thing turns out i might not survive prison it took me 10 seconds to figure this out this is way more difficult than it seems and i have a feeling that some of this is gonna be a problem also me every time I live through a traumatic experience. So this is the base, which is the noodles with the nacho cheese. And now we're gonna put the rice, which you would have thought this would be the outer layer, but it isn't. And because I already know that I'm not gonna be able to spread it, I'm just gonna try sprinkle it evenly. It's definitely cooked. This is not sushi rice because in the video, I really zoomed in to see what kind of rice. Because I wanted this to be authentic prison food. It was just plain white rice, like kind of like the long one. I don't really know if you call this basmati rice. It is kind of doughy, so it might be that we're going to be able to roll this out. But I do have my doubts. I feel like I made this too much of a square when it should have been more of a, like a rectangle. Also, God making my body shape. You know that lady on TikTok who eats rice with her hands? She would have nailed this. Does it feel like this might become dough? No, not at all. I might need to watch the video to See what's next so next up we're gonna use some tuna and obviously we're not gonna use fresh raw fish if you're in prison you probably wouldn't want to eat raw fish so we're using some tuna for this that's my favorite kind of sushi anyways actually <laughs> these standards are slightly superior to my usual so i'm gonna do a line of like tuna kind of like they did it smells really good i'm not going all the way to the edges because i already know i'm not gonna do a great job at like folding this it's pretty Linear. Is that a word? I don't know. It is now. We're gonna put some nacho cheese in a Ziploc bag. And this is basically, I guess in prison, finding a piping bag would be very difficult. So we're creating one. We're putting the nacho cheese sauce. I don't have a whole lot and I'm gonna need more for this video. So this is it. We gotta make the most out of it. And on this one, we're gonna put some mayo. This mayo is very thick. So we're gonna put the mayo in the Ziploc bag. So these are basically our decoration, kind of. These are the condiments that go on our sushi. Are these traditional flavorings for sushi? No, but I'm gonna assume that when you're in prison, I feel like being culturally, culturally accurate is not in your top list of priorities. But I don't know, I've never been to prison yet, like I said. I'm one copyright strike away from getting my YouTube channel deleted and two from going to prison. So for this first bit, I think we just need to squeeze out some of the mayo. So we're gonna do like, a few lines of mayo. This honestly looks kind of like gourmet. This actually looks like sushi. I don't have many hot Cheetos and I feel like we might need more of this for this video because I feel like this is one of those really popular foods in prison. Listen to this. Oh man, this is not good. I've got one more bag of hot Cheetos. These are still pretty stale, but not as bad as the other ones. So I don't really know. I'm hoping that this is enough because what would they use in prison? 
These are extra difficult to crunch because they're stale. Okay, these are our crushed hot Cheetos. It's not perfect, but so we're gonna sprinkle that on top of the mayo So it kind of sticks to the mayo. This is there's levels of science to this that I really respect It keeps looking better every time we add something if you watch the TikTok for this next part Which is rolling up. They don't actually show that because I'm assuming this is extremely difficult. We'll try I'm gonna start with this side Kind of feels like a burrito, but it smells like the ocean. <laughs> it's got a few problem areas, but maybe if we flip this, this will be better. Let me try the other side, maybe. Maybe that... Nope. Oh no, this side is slightly better. At least there's no holes in it. No, I feel like we should go back to the other side. Nope. It's prison. They did slice into it, but they didn't show it to us. So this right here... Oops. Is prison sushi. This is supposed to be prison sushi. This one is holding as well as it possibly could. Sushi it is not, but it tastes like the best leftover meal of your entire life. There is crunch in it, the textures are kind of perfect, and honestly, I can't even taste the natural cheese. There's so many interesting things that it just... Speechless. Give it a try if you don't believe me. This is how to make a cheesecake prison style. Everyone calls it a cheesecake but it don't contain any cheese, it's just got the same base. The strawberries in these are stuff you can actually find in prison but I had to replicate the other part with cheap products you can get. So the first step you get the digestive biscuits, put them in a Tupperware box and then crush them up for the base. I'm used to use a roll-on deodorant to crush them up. And then we get butter, put it on top of the kettle and melt it. I am showing it like this to replicate how we would actually make it in prison. Then once the butter is melted you add that to the crushed up biscuits. Then you'd break up your white chocolate into a bowl and put it on top of the kettle, boiling until it's fully melted. While you're waiting for the chocolate to melt, you can get these and crush them over the base. And then once your chocolate is melted, you wanna put it on like this. And then you wanna chop some strawberries up, and place them on top. And then you add more biscuits on top, more strawberries and white chocolate. And there it is finished. Loads of you will say it's not a cake. It's just biscuit but that's what we made in jail. And it tastes better than you think. I was thinking something, but I feel like if I say it, it's really offensive. Are they eating better than me in prison? It looks good, right? Like, this actually looks like better than anything that I ever make at home. What I mean is, if sometimes you don't have, like, the fanciest ingredients, creativity is enough to make something incredible. So that is... That's what I meant. Because this recipe is from uh, someone who's been to prison in the UK, the ingredients are pretty similar. So we're gonna start with some plain digestive cookies. I really appreciate that they do tell us what tools to use to cook with because this makes it a lot easier. So using a deodorant stick, like a roll-on deodorant stick, this is better than using a blender. I literally am barely using any strength and this is basically done. The shape of this literally makes this so easy. I'm not joking, like I'm being 100% serious. This is an incredible hack just to take with you in life. This literally took two minutes and this is like flour. Okay, so next up we need to transform all this dust into like a, a dough, basically. The butter that they use in the video is this, it's like an olive oil spread. Maybe they use that in prison because it's more versatile, like you can use it for savory food and sweet food. I've never used this before, I wonder what it tastes like. Interesting. So I'm gonna use some of that olive oil spread and we're gonna put it just on the lid of the container. Okay, that'll be enough. And this part is particularly interesting because we're going to use a kettle to melt this. I guess we just leave it there. This might take a minute or two. It... Ouch! Ouch! 
This is why I would never last in prison. Do you guys see it melting? Like, is it going down? I do feel like the plastic is really close to melting completely. Okay, I think we run out of water. The butter is practically melted, so I feel like if we get it out, this will be sufficient for this to fully... It's practically melted. There's like two little puddles on here. I feel like if we mix it, this is gonna... The whole thing is gonna melt. This is our melted butter. It's practically melted. I've just run out of water, but I feel like this is good enough. So we're gonna transfer our butter into... This is incredible. So the goal now is to transform this into a dough. This is already the best cheesecake I've ever made. The only one. I am learning so much in this video. Someone needs to give this person a cooking show with Martha Stewart. They might know each other. They probably go way back. As you can see, that really does transform into a dough. Like, it doesn't really fall. So I guess this will set now. We're gonna melt some white chocolate. Okay, we're gonna get the kettle going. And I'm gonna use the same lid because I feel like white chocolate and butter. So I'm gonna use some of these white chocolate chips. Where's the deodorant stick? Perfect. I feel like I don't even need to touch it. This is not gonna spill. This is definitely taking a while. My hair is gonna go curly before the chocolate melts. My BB cream is gonna melt before the white chocolate does. I think we're almost there. For the next part, I think they use white chocolate chip cookies, but I'm just using plain cookies. And then I'm gonna add the white chocolate chips separately. If you watch the whole video in the end, they do a few layers of this, of the cookies, the white chocolate, the strawberries, like the whole thing. It looks really good. It smells even better. Then we're gonna use some white chocolate chips. The base is solid in here. And next, is this very hot? I know it doesn't look melted, but yep, yeah, I already knew. It's very smooth. So this definitely does work. So we're gonna put the white chocolate all over, just like they do in prison. So I'm not gonna use all the white chocolate because like I said, in the video, they use layers to this. I actually thought it was kind of sad that the girl said that they were very excited in prison every time they had strawberries because no strawberries, that's too much punishment. I love when we get political. Give the prisoners strawberries, me if I was running for president. So I'm kind of doing a terrible job at this. These strawberries are like too soft. They don't look good, but they will taste good, I'm assuming. So this is kind of what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna crunch a little bit more cookie on top, create like moments when you're biting into it. If you're in prison, you need moments. And last but not least, I'm gonna go and use white chocolate. This method is pretty good. Look how long this lasts. Oh my God, these looks incredible. I was gonna use the other strawberry and do another layer, but this is so beautiful and perfect. Wait, a few more chocolate chips. I really hope this doesn't fall because I want you guys to see it. All made using prison ingredients. I'm interested in the bottom to see if he actually said. All together, this is kind of what you get. How does it taste like a cheesecake if there's no cream cheese in it? But it does. I'm gonna show y'all how we make a real jailhouse burrito down in Florida. You get your chips, you got your ramen, pecan. Uh, pecan beef is the one you use in there. You got your real Bahama Mamas, you still get them in there. You gotta crush all this down. Everything's broke down and cut up. Now we gotta mix it. Should look something like this. So you got your water, you put it in your bag. I always go right above this right here. Then you What you do in county is you wrap it up. I wrap it in a towel, put it away for about 10 minutes. Ooh, goodness, baby, there she is, right on time and mighty fine. You always want to cut the bag open. You never want to dump her out. And this is why they call it a jailhouse burrito, because you put it in a burrito. Available in county, you add your mayonnaise. And of course, your burrito, burrito, burrito. You fold the end, then wrap. And there she is. Tell you what, it's a hard time waiting to have me. That shit good. Next up in cooking in Ziploc bags, which is basically what this video is. I don't have exactly the same ingredients because I'm in a different country. So instead of the pickled sausage, which by the way, I didn't even know it was a thing. It's just a sausage. It's as close as we're gonna get. So I'm gonna dice up the sausage. I feel like I should use a plate for this. It feels wrong in this video. So I'm just gonna do it on top of this Ziploc bag. The only other two ingredients for our burrito filling is, this is a mix of different potato chips. We've got like off-brand Cheetos. So they've done the mixing for us. So I'm gonna try to get a few of everything and we're just gonna add it to this Ziploc bag. 
So we've got some Doritos, the Cheetos, just a little bit of everything. My Ziploc bag is a little bit smaller because my tortilla wraps are not as big either. And you might be wondering, what are we gonna use to crush these? Probably guess correctly. I have learned so much since my stay in prison. We're gonna use the deodorant. This is genius. I will never, I will never use a blender again. That seemed like a lot, but the thing with a uh, potato, it's 99% oxygen and this is the proof. All of that is just this little bit in the box. In the video they use beef noodles and I did order beef noodles, but they sent me the kimchi version. So just imagine this is a recipe from prison in Korea. So hopefully, once we cut this, this is gonna be our crushed up noodles. In these recipes, the noodles seem to be used as like a dough to like sort of bind the whole thing when you add water. Okay, okay. keep in mind this is probably gonna expand in size. Honestly, it looks pretty similar. So now we're gonna add our sausage. This is supposed to be pickled sausage. It smells really good. It smells spicy because this is, every single thing here is spicy. I hope I have my own toilet in prison. I only warmed up the water. I didn't actually let it come to a boil, even though it is quite hot. I'm just scared it's gonna melt the plastic. Well, so I guess we mix. It's definitely not too hot because otherwise this would have melted already. We're gonna massage this really well. Can't wait for this to be in Martha Stewart's cookbook. I'm gonna remove the air from it because I kind of wanted to stay in this shape. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a kitchen cloth because that's kind of what they've done in the video. We're gonna put this in. This is definitely the shape that I wanna keep. We're gonna wrap it up and I guess we wait. So here we've got our burrito filling and it's been like an hour, I don't really know. So we're going to... <laughs> I don't think this is a solid, uh, actually. This is an omelet. This is a prison omelet. Like, I feel like you might actually come out in one go. I think they just cut it like this. I think I'm gonna be able to hold this in one piece. Are you kidding me? This is basically an omelet. Like, it literally stays super solid. And then I watched the video back and they actually cut a chunk of it. So there was no point in actually solidifying it, but we're gonna still build our burrito, a regular tortilla wrap. I'm gonna cut half of it. This is literally the texture and look of an omelette and also the sausages on the inside. I'm just gonna do exactly what they've done. Uh, mayo on top. To the mayo, we're gonna add some hot sauce. Literally looks exactly the same as it did in the video. So I feel like I've done everything right. They've left it open, kind of like an open burrito. Isn't a burrito supposed to be closed? I don't know. My burrito knowledge comes from Chipotle. I shouldn't even be speaking about this publicly. I don't get a seat at the table. This is our prison burrito. This literally looks better than anything that McDonald's has ever tried to do with a tortilla wrap. Shots fired, but it's the truth. We were all thinking it. <laughs> wow. Really spicy, I think it's, Oh. With that being said, it's good. It's really good. It's a great, smooth, oily consistency. Flavors are good, like it just works. It's like someone was actually putting thought when making this. This is better than Chipotle. It's just my opinion, but it is. Makes no sense, but it's the truth. Well. Welcome back to Cooking with a Convict. Today, I'm gonna make you guys prison taffy. First step, add your creamer, just like before. Next, Kool-Aid packets. Mix it on up. Next, add some water, mix it all up. Put it in the microwave, start off with about a minute. Keep checking on it, you're gonna see it bubbling up. That's all the sugar crystals disappearing. Keep stirring it up and make sure it don't burn. As it's microwaving, take some saran wrap or a bag, put water on the bottom of it so it don't move and spread it out just like this. It's gonna start looking like this. Stir it up, put it back in the microwave. When it looks like this, it's ready to pour in saran wrap and spread it out. Spread it in the middle and piece it out with your card. Using the old IDOC card to spread it out. Pour it in the middle, stretch it, cut it with your DOC card. Let it harden and there's your prison taffy from the microwave. Before everyone is upset at me in the comment section, I just want to say that in my head, in my mind right now, I am in prison. This is like a real prison situation. In my prison, Kool-Aid is very difficult to find. The closest thing to Kool-Aid that I could find, emergency... 
energy release and immunity support food supplement. And hopefully this is a powder. See, this is basically Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid for the healthy young professional. Technically this is sugar, it's fructose in it, which is a sugar. No, it says sugar as like the third ingredient. So this is basically Kool-Aid with vitamins. This is only gonna enrich our body and our prison experience. So we're gonna grab one packet of our Kool-Aid and we're gonna mix it with the coffee creamer. I am very interested in the first person who was in prison and had the idea of mixing coffee creamer with Kool-Aid. I should probably use a bigger bowl because this is gonna, I think, explode in the microwave. To this, we are going to mix our coffee creamer. I don't know how much, I'm just guessing. I am disappointed in the fact that mine is not colored, it's just white. But honestly, I know we're not using the real ingredients for this one, but I think this is gonna work out the same. So we're gonna add some water. Oh wait, this is... I don't know if this is supposed to happen with Kool-Aid, but this is bubbling up. At least it's getting colorful. This texture is interesting. We're gonna add a little bit more water to make it more similar to in the video. It's kind of going down already, so I think this is gonna be fine. It's flatter now, so I think all the bubbling up is kind of done. And while we wait, we can have some vitamin C. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in the microwave for, I think you said one minute, then check. It's very sticky looking, but I... Th oh, this is very, very hot. I'm so scared of it. But like, I think it looks right. This looks like it's gonna become candy, basically. Okay, I think we gotta move quick. I should have done this earlier, but we are going to put some of this plastic wrap in the bottom. I'm just gonna do it because... At least it's colorful. It smells like vitamins and minerals and all of the above. Wait, we're not supposed to use a spoon for this. We're supposed to use our prison card, which in my case is a card for the underground, but he won't find one of these in prison. So I am going to spread this. Oh my God, this literally works exactly the same as it did in the video. I should have made more. I made a very small amount. It's becoming candy. Like I can literally feel it wanting to like become chewy. So I'm going to do one cut in the center, one here, do one here. Okay, that kind of ruined everything, the center one. But I will never be able to use my underground card ever again, but this is kind of what it looks like. Honestly, it's not a bad look. Why is there a hole in it? <gasps> oh, some of it is stuck to my table. This is me attempting to show you. Honestly, do you see how it kind of looks like candy? Like it actually wants to like solidify and become candy. We will be very healthy once we get a bite out of this. I feel like in order for us to get a bite out of it and peel it off, we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. I mean, we can lick it off my underground card. No. So I put this in the fridge for just like 20 minutes. Not sure if this is going to work out. So I don't even know how exactly to get this out to try it. <laughs> I do genuinely think this works and you need to give it time for this to solidify. The texture is pretty candy-like. It's just, it just hasn't set yet. I know it might seem like it's liquidy, but I promise you it is. It doesn't really stick to your hands too much. It's just not enough to peel it off yet. Let's give it a try. It tastes like candy, but also medicine. It tastes like healthy candy that you get at the pharmacy which is 100% my fault, but I will say, I believe this is real and easy. Probably don't do it with emergency tablets, but even then, I still think this works. So today we are gonna make a jailhouse birthday cake chef special. So this one is pretty basic. These are your main ingredients, different sizes of course in the county, but these are it. <laughs> Through the miracle of time, you separate the cream from the Oreo. You want to break these Oreos down real fine. Crush it down like that, add water until it's dough. You're going to end up with a ball like this, split the ball in half. Put your honey bun on, lay your top half with your honey bun inside. Little water in the Oreo cream to create icing. Mm-hmm. Put your icing on top like a professional. M&Ms around the cake, chop up your Snickers. Mm-hmm. Put them around. Crush down m and Mm-hmm. And there she go. Jailhouse birthday cake. Next video, I'll be cutting her in half. Baby, stay tuned.
If you've ever wondered what it's like to have your birthday in prison, well, it looks great. At least the cake is good. So I've separated these golden Oreos from the cream, and it's actually a whole lot more Oreos than cream, so it is, it might not be a 50-50 split with this. First thing we're gonna need is transform this into a dough. This is basically the actual cake, is crushed up Oreos. You guys know, this is my new best friend. Friendship with food processor ended. So I'm gonna start with this amount and then I'm just gonna add more because this is quite a small bowl. This truly makes this so much easier. How interesting would it be if I sent the prison birthday cake recipe to a five-star bakery? They probably wouldn't do it, but would they? Let me know if you wanna watch that. My cinnamon bun that I'm gonna use as a base is huge, so I might need a little bit more. It's not as perfectly blended as before because we're gonna add water, so it's gonna soften up anyways. And I'm just gonna use my hands for this. Okay, that might have been too much water, but we do want a dough. This texture is not passing the vibe check. Okay, so we definitely added too much water. Good thing is we still got these. We gotta fix this somehow. So hopefully it's gonna fix it. The thing with water is once you add it, it's hard to get it back. It's like the time you spend watching my videos. I would not recommend using this deodorant now. Can you get a yeast infection in your armpit? Maybe. I do have more cookies here. Okay. Okay, it is going to be a wet and crunchy cake. Even in prison, they would like. This would get me arrested again. Is it perfect? No. Is it better? Yes. So this is gonna be fine. My next video is gonna be titled My Prison Experience and it's 45 minutes of me telling you my food poisoning symptoms. We're using one of those soft uh, cinnamon buns. Why is mine huge? This is gonna be so difficult. So we're gonna cover the cinnamon bun with the dough. It does kind of work and stick to it. So maybe it was for the best that it worked out this way. I'm not doing the bottom because I don't have enough dough but at least the top will be done. So we're gonna use this plate to sort of plate our birthday cake. Oh boy, this does not look good. It's a little lumpier than in the video. It is what it is at this point. <laughs> I kind of learned my lesson, so I'm gonna do very little water for the frosting because we do not want this to be, it's not becoming a cream. You really have to press it against the water for it to blend because it kind of wants to separate. Okay, we're kind of getting there. Okay, I think we could have used a little more water, just a little. Look, it does not make a whole lot of frosting, but is this kind of looking like a birthday cake? So this is gonna be kind of like a frosting just on top. I know in the video, I think it was supposed to be done all around. This is how I would die in jail. I would make this for someone and they'd be like, Next up, we're gonna need some Snickers and we're basically decorating the cake all around. So, there it goes. It is pretty stuck to the plate. I think that might be a good thing. It's pretty solid. That's actually impressive that this acts as frosting and it was made with whatever this was made with. <laughs> now we're gonna grab the M&Ms. This is supposed to give it like color. I don't know. This is like it's someone's birthday and you're in prison. You take as many thrills as you can. So I'm not doing all around, but just imagine. Honestly, it could be worse. Like I'm not entirely mad at this, which is really strange and I did not see coming. So this is supposed to be the decoration, the outer layer of our cake. Honestly though, why am I not mad at this? My camera dies in the worst times every single time. We bounce back from it. This cake would probably bounce off the wall with the amount of dough covering it up. I mostly decorated the front. I didn't decorate the back of the cake because we didn't have enough ingredients and my cinnamon bun was so big. I would say mine looks really similar, even better. Is it just me or is this kind of like an incredible birthday cake? It might be strangely wet when we bite into it, but that looks Good. It smells like a birthday cake as well. Like I can smell frosting, even though technically there's no frosting in it. I am so curious to know how this is gonna be on the inside, like a slice of this. We should just cut this in half so we can see the inside. So this right here that I'm about to show you is our prison birthday cake from the inside. I mean, excuse me, this is incredible. Like, 
This is better than any birthday cake that I've had. I haven't had a birthday cake in a while, but... Oh, no, 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 no. So we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna try to get some of the cinnamon bun, the weirdly wet dough. Let's give it a try. Happy birthday. It's so weird. It's like doughy. It's like a cooked cake, but also, I kind of want to go back for more. I mean, this is so much sugar that it's literally making my teeth hurt. I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> Given the context of jail, this is great. <laughs> Given the context of the real world, this is like a, a wet birthday cake. And on that note, what a way to finish this video. I really hope you guys enjoy this. This was something different. This came up on my TikTok for you page and immediately I was like, I need to share this with my subscribers because what would you do with your life without this incredible content? If you like this video and you'd want to watch a part two, please don't forget to give the video a like. Only if you enjoy my videos, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It might be that you didn't enjoy this and maybe I'll convince you to subscribe on a different occasion. Something a little more normal. Thank you so much to those of you who do subscribe. But once again, you don't have to. It's just a thing. I love you guys and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.